Okay, so moving on to rockfish. Uh, I know rockfish uh, can mean something different for some of you guys. Uh, in, up in the mainland, they have like black rockfish and calico rockfish, uh, stuff like that, where they're actually like rockfish. But um, I call them rockfish because I almost always find this type of fish in a hole underneath a rock, something like that. Uh, so I'm talking like menpachi, uh, aveo veo, alaihi, ahole hole. Those are the four main ones that you will find underneath rocks and in caves and holes um, in the water. Or they'll be like chilling around uh, pieces of structure. But um, I, for these fish, the best weapon, uh, the best way to attack these fish is just with a three prong. And so... Just with your three prong, you sh you just need to look around for uh, holes where there's a good amount of space underneath, and then uh, that usually um, they like fish fish like a veo veo and menpachi and stuff like that. They like holes that have more than one exit and entrance. So if you can, if you dive down and you see that there's space on two sides of this rock are more than one entryway, then there's probably gonna be fish underneath. And so, uh, yeah, so with these rockfish, just use your three prong. I prefer, uh, there's three prongs with the extra extension, like nine footers. I'd say that's too big for when you're going after these fish, um, unless, unless they're out in the open or there's like no structure behind you but uh it's really tough with bigger three prongs when because usually there's going to be when where there's rocks with fish in them there's also going to be rocks around you and in your surrounding area and sometimes the, the hole will be a little bit small or hard to access um so if you have this big nine foot three prong or eight foot three prong, it's gonna be hard for you to get uh, get it into the angle that you want, uh, looking in the hole, uh, adjusting your aim is gonna be harder. So I'd say if you're targeting these fish, use a six or seven foot three prong. I'd say that's the best because uh, you, can, you can get it, usually you can get it into any angle that you need to. Um, it's a lot easier to handle when you're just doing some when you're just going for these uh, fish underneath these small small spaces so I'd say six to seven foot through prong and yeah that's all there is to it just look uh, when you have your three prong just look underneath any hole that you that looks like it might have fish in it chances are there's probably gonna be fish in there and uh, a veil veil especially are usually asleep they're notorious not notorious but like they're well known for being very standstill and it's in the sense that if you see it they'll look at you for a really long time because it's they're nocturnal fish so during the day they're usually asleep so uh they'll be very stagnant they won't be they won't be uh jittery like menpachis are menpachis they'll move in like weird patterns of sporadic movement but not not a veil veil a veil veil will kind of just drift in front of you or they'll stay in one place so they're very easy to shoot if you find them and they taste incredible absolutely delicious fish um manpachi as well ahole hole and alihi they're all great frying fish so uh if you're looking and also manpachi and ahole hole oftentimes they'll school up so when you look under a rock sometimes there will be a lot of them in the surrounding area and the surrounding rocks so if you're looking if you're shooting fish for a party or um or some kind of family gathering you can and you know a place that has a hole hole you should just go take your three prong and you can shoot a bunch of them and then feed feed your family um and yeah that's all there is to it just take your three prong uh, look under rocks and you'll find them eventually. So I'll just show a few examples of that and then we'll move on to invasives.
Okay, so for invasives, I'm talking Roy to Ape to Ao. Uh, I'd say it's mostly the same thing as predatory fish for to Ape and to Ao. Get to the bottom, dust and grunt, and you'll get to Ape's and to Ao's. But for Roy's, it's actually a lot simpler. So Roy's have this weird habit where they'll they'll stay in one place a little bit. They'll be a little bit above the sea floor, and they'll flap their fins. They have these two circular uh, side fins, and those are they'll be like flapping, and they'll be in one place. They'll switch direction, face different side directions, but once you'll always get them dive bombing. You can get them stalking too, but the easiest uh, way to get them without a, and by expending the least amount of energy is just dive bomb, because what happens when you dive bomb them for the for whatever reason. They just switch their direction and they look straight at you and they'll look at you and they'll look at you for enough time uh, unless they're smart like you sometimes big roys will be pretty smart but uh medium size to small roys will always they'll look at you until you're point blank with them pretty much your the the spear is this much away from them and they will not move they will just keep looking at you until the spear Beer flies through their body and the barb catches them and then they get stabbed in the head by your dive knife they will not they won't move they'll they'll switch directions they'll flap their fins and they will face you until you kill them so um unless you wait for some reason for too long and then they they'll dart into a hole you'll probably never find them again once they go once they go into a hole they they will not come out. Usually they won't come out. They, they'll stay in their hole because they think they're safe there and they know you're out there. Your one chance is when they, they're flapping their fins and looking at you. That's the, the easiest time to get them. So uh, yeah, the, that's all there is to shooting invasives. I'll show a few clips of that and then we'll wrap up the video.
Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope uh, my tips and tricks that have worked for me, I hope it helped you as well. And like I said, if you guys have any critiques for me or any tips for me, please let me know down in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn um, and improve my technique and my skill because I'm, I'm growing. Uh, I need as much help as any of you guys do. Um, and I'm always trying to improve um, in every aspect of spearfishing. So if you have anything at all, please let me know. Um, so yeah, I'm look. I'm also looking for uh, new challenges and new video ideas for uh, 600 subscribers. We're coming up on it soon, and I wanted to celebrate. Uh, so uh, leave your ideas down in the comment section below, and I will be sure to uh, look those over as well. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.